Hi, church family. I don't relate to anyone in the Bible as well as I do with Martha of Bethany. In Luke 10, a week before the Last Supper, we see Martha welcome Jesus into her home. This is right after Jesus has raised her brother Lazarus from the dead, and I just imagine the sense of joy and excitement that she has in the opportunity to serve Jesus' dinner. She quickly invites him in and gets all of the disciples seated. And then she goes back to laboring over the meal she's already spent hours preparing in the kitchen. While she's busy serving the Lord of the Universe dinner, her sister Mary sits at Jesus' feet to listen to and talk with him. In verse 40, we see Martha get upset about her sister's negligence to common hospitality etiquette. She says, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. Martha has a moment of bitter jealousy in seeing her sister experience closeness with Jesus. While she feels compelled to keep the show going, to keep this honored guest's experience perfect. In his wisdom, Jesus responds to Martha with gentleness and grace. Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion which will not be taken away from her. Jesus removes the expectation of performance from Mary. He also reveals the most important thing. Jesus desires intimacy with us. Martha wanted to honor the Lord with her actions, her gift of hospitality and service, but it came at the expense of actually spending time in his presence, of abiding in him. Meanwhile, Mary sat, listened, and even anointed Jesus. Both of these women had a genuine desire to honor, serve, and love him, but Mary made the right choice, intimacy with Jesus. As a doer, I have a very difficult time sitting still and being intentional in my relationships. At parties and events, I would rather be the hostess addressing people's needs or the photographer who captures other people's special moments. To fathom stillness is actually very difficult and even scary for me. It means that I have to trust that when I lay down my fears and control, Jesus is already sitting down, ready to have a conversation with me. Abiding in Jesus, resting in Him, starts with intimacy. Do we spend time in His Word? Do we store His commands in our hearts? Can we find it in ourselves to confess our sins and struggles to the only one who truly knows us? Are we actually laying everything down at His feet? Even more than that, can we just show up? Jesus asks us to bring Him nothing except our hearts. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest.